Welcome back to Open Line. We're talking about the uh, bill that would ban child marriage in Tennessee. We have the two sponsors with us, uh, Senator Jeff Yarborough, Representative Darren Jernigan. Uh, a robust discussion is underway on our Facebook page as we stream this live on the News Channel 5 Facebook page. Linda Christensen says, I got married at 17. Uh, we have two young or two grown children and we're still together. Lorette Brewington says you should be 21 before you get married at all. Younger folks don't have decision-making ability. So there you get a, a, you know, a sense of what's going on back and forth on Facebook. A lot of that. Let's go to Wayne. Hello, Wayne. Yeah. Uh, go right ahead. What's on your mind? My question is real simple. Uh, where in the world do they go to find the justice of the peace or a judge? that can actually stand and perform a ceremony and look him in the eye knowing what he's doing has absolutely no future. You know, they called it love and love is blind. That's a real good way to explain it. But the best example I can point out, you go to Appalachia, you have a lot of that going on and look at the future those people have. It's the poorest part of this country. It's, you know, how can anybody look a young person in the eye and say, you know, I'm doing this for your good? It don't make sense. And my question again, it used to be where you were required to have a blood test to prove that you could have healthy babies. Uh, I don't know if they still do that now. Mm -hmm. uh, I just see it going down a road that, you know, marriage, you know, what does it mean anymore? It's just a piece of paper. All right. Uh, thank you. So he thinks this devalues marriage overall and questions what kind of judge would sign off on this, which is what's required now, right? A judge in certain well, cases so, would sign off. I mean, so this is an important point. Right now, if you ha bring a 16-year-old in to marry a 45-year-old with the parent's consent, the county clerk is required to issue a license. That's what the state law requires. The county clerk doesn't have any judgment to bring to bear there. Even if the county clerk suspects that the person is being coerced, suspects there's, I mean, you know, the if there's a, a, a proper application that's got parental consent, uh, I think that in most cases that, is, that license is going to issue. The judge right now only comes into play if it's people that are under 16, and so I mean, that's actually part of the problem is that we have, uh, you know, I think there's some some sense in letting letting there be a judgment and, and an evaluation if you're going to be doing this instead of just having a bright line rule and whatever a parent agrees to. You know, somebody said earlier, like, we shouldn't take away these kids' rights to do this. 16-year-olds do not have the right to get married right now. They only have the right insofar as they're allowed or directed by their parents. You would and be so, taking away the parents' right to exactly. dictate what their kids that's do. That's right. With their entire life, mm -hmm. that's what marriage should be. Is it? So that's that's right. The right. We, we don't let we don't let parents dictate to let them drink, but under twenty one, we don't right. let them dictate. Hey, have some smokes. It's okay. It, you know, it, it's we. But for some reason. A lifetime, even a tattoo, which is, I would argue, another lifetime commitment. That's harder to get rid of. <laughs> uh, it, we don't allow that. And so it. So sometimes the state has to step in and protect the child. Let's go to Renee. Hello, Renee. Are you there, Renee? I am. Hi. Go right ahead. I think that 21 it should be the number for all of these things, uh, marriage especially. Buying alcohol, tobacco, buying guns, voting. I think all of those important, even uh, serving in the military and the police, I think uh, you should be 21, and I do believe that you should have some sort of evaluation, not just go to the courthouse and get a marriage license. But you take tests for graduating high school. You take tests for this and tests for that, and I think there should be some sort of a course that should be taken. I've been married almost 30 years. I married when I was 25, 
their daughter married when she was 25. And I, and I know that human brains don't fully develop until you're 25. Oh, yeah. It's a yes. scientifically known fact. Right. And my mom, she slipped off with the love of her life to Iuka, Mississippi. That man was talking about Appalachia and everything, you know, and poor and stuff. Mississippi, uh, they're, they're poor too. I mean, really poor. I've been there. And she clipped off at 14 and married the love of her life. 14. If that had been a child of mine, as soon as she got back, she would be going and getting an annulment. Well, it's amazing that it's even that legal. She married well, I... and had me and everything, and she married at 14, had three kids by the time she was 23, and divorced. Oh she married goodness. again at 25. And they were married for 38 years before my stepdad, which he's my daddy. Uh, in every aspect yeah. of the word. All right, so I'm gonna I'm, we're gonna Bring move on, up. but I appreciate the call. So there's she's saying 21 across the board. 21. We've had several people say that. Lorette Brewington, others on on Facebook saying that. Let's go to another. That call might be here. a little bit hard to pass in the That probably wouldn't pass. But yeah, here's <laughs> but, 14. But sure, I understand. Yeah, yeah, let's go to Bill. Hello, Bill. Uh, yeah, I just right wanted to tell in of this show, um, but I did see the uh, write up in the paper last week. I read. Uh, you probably already discussed this, but I read that there were like three or four ten-year-olds that had been married in the state in the past year. No, not this past year. Not the past year. So, um, so the, the a national group, uh, including uh, PBS, did pull data from all fifty states' health department records and showed uh, that that some of the youngest marriage records they saw in the country uh, came from Tennessee. Uh, we're still trying to look and work with the Department of Health to figure out what some of those exceptions are, but, but there's no question that this law has been used to, to allow people to get married when they're under 16, when they're under 15, when they're under, under 14, and frankly been used to marry not just like a 14 year old to a 17 year old but a 14 year old to a 37 year old and and that's that's where uh that's the kind of situation that should make everybody uh embarrassed that it's happening in our state embarrassed that it's legal to happen in our state and that's when i think we have to take action all right, we're going to take a break, come back, uh, we'll wrap everything up, kind of see where this stands for tomorrow, because there's going to be some debate on this tomorrow. We'll take a break, we'll be back right after this.